Who is this ghastly man? Your one and only favorite Muppet. <laughs> Hey, what's happening, Boomerites? It's good to see you again. Welcome back. I am King Boomer, and it's time for some peep -a peep. I think I don't think I've done that little jingle or soundbite or whatever it is in quite some time. Uh, I used to do it before every uh, time we started one of these, but uh, peep -a peep. There it is. Uh, this one's called the Love Bunker. It's uh, episode three from season eight, and I'm going to react to it. Uh, the Love Bunker, which implies. It could imply a lot, and because it's Peep Show, I'm I'm legitimately scared. But uh, we'll see what I think of the episode at the end here. Usually, the Peep Show episodes are always brilliant. Um, one of the best shows I've ever seen. So remember to like, subscribe, do whatever you guys want if this makes YouTube. And uh, let's check it out. Here we go. Enough chit chat. Here we go. Peep to peep. So I thought Trish could sit. Here, Neil can sit here, and Simon, the ex-boyfriend, can sit there. And <laughs> if anyone tries to move from the seating plan, I'll taser them. <laughs> Mark, I think you need to take a chill pill from your frankly inadequate supply. Sorry, yes, I, I guess I am a bit nervous, because this is the first time we've hosted a social evening together in our soon-to-be joint home. Don't sweat it, dude. Oh, by the way, Simon's invited me to come away for the weekend for his 30th. Sex with the ex. Yeah? You uh, and him? And the whole website gang? Oh, thank God. I've got a website opportunity, actually. Supans has sorted us out a website. And get this, it's empty. Right. Yeah, he's wangled us a website for us to do shit on. Business, creative, whatever. Totally blank. Big opportunity. You in? Yes, Jez. I, I guess that would be an exciting opportunity if it was the last website ever. <laughs> Finally, the use of Jeremy and hands becomes clear. They're my normality cloaks, allowing oh, no. me to slip into human society and wreak my evil doings, slash make friends and relax. Nice place, Mark. So many biscuits. Is this a normal night for you? Yeah. Oh, yeah, me and my guys and our cannabis. No, no thanks. I'm full. You're full? <laughs> full. I never stone alone. I'm just high on pie. <sighs> What? Bad to worse. I'm speaking in verse. What's that, uh... I should know this, but I don't because I never had one. But is this like a Nintendo Switch that they got playing in the background? I don't know. The, with the wand and everything. I, I did have a Wii at one point, but I know the controllers don't look like that. Somebody let me know what, what game system that is. Saying a rhyme ain't a crime. If, if I can say it to you, it must be true. Am I sort of rapping? I'm thinking of joining a gym. Get back on a positive track. I've always suspected that getting on a positive track is a good idea, but now I'm a professional life coach, I can confirm, you know, medically, that it is a good idea. You know, if you ever want to speak to anyone, I am a fully qualified life coach. Yes, and I printed his qualification as a treat. There's a quarter there. If you weigh it, it will appear to come in light because it's helium weed. Tell you what, Hans, Jez, you should come to my 30th. And you, Mark, play ball till we drop and then smoke till we pop. Wicked. Cool. Right. Uh, paintballing weekend. It's so obvious he fancies Dobby. He's just using it as cover. But he won't be expecting how incredibly taciturn and deflating I can be in social situations. The fun stops here, my friend. Yeah, I mean, I really just want a... Uh... Honest broker, someone to chat through some shit with. Is it okay, the bed? Is it a bit like at any moment I might jump on him and hump him better? I could hump him. I wonder if I'll hump many clients. I'm always really. Now remember, from the very first season, I believe it was, or the second. I think it was the first. Ah, uh, God, my memory with these shit. There's so many things I'm reacting to. I my memory's terrible with all this but i think in the first season we had the little ending with jeremy and super hands so jeremy's definitely a switch hitter you wanted to do footy coaching and i've got the first fa badge but it's hard okay so what seems to be stopping you well i've got my job well i quit your job you think so definitely 
You've got to follow your dream. Case closed. Next. I mean, it's hard to find paid coaching work. And um, Alice, my wife, she, she wonders if it's not a bit late to get into all this. OK. Might have a poke about a bit. How are things in the relationship? Oh, um... OK, I guess. I mean, not always great. No, right. Of course not. Can I get into the bedroom? Tell me about the sexual side of the relationship. Well, to be honest, it's it's not good. This is great. I can ask him anything I want, cos I'm the professional and he's the worm in the science beaker. Go on. Well, look, I mean... I guy. guess I can say I like to be dominated in well, the bedroom. Of course you do, you filthy bastard. There's no judgement here, Neil. I've also experimented with same-sex experiences. Ooh, tell me more. So, in the relationship, do you think you're getting really fulfilled? Alice has this medical condition, which makes... We don't need to go into that. That's not part of it. Right. What is part of it? I'll tell you what's part of it. Now, tell me more about these gay feelings. They sound interesting. I mean, important. I suppose... I mean, I was hoping to talk about the footy coaching, but... I mean, everything's connected. Um, a relationship... It, uh... Well, a relationship... It's... It has some... Um, where am I going here? A relationship is a lot like a real ship. It needs to be moving forward. It needs to be properly maintained. Yes. Yeah. I get that. He gets that? I'm a life coach! I mean, the truth is, I have had thoughts about leaving, Alice. Uh-oh. If you sometimes want to do something, you should do it. Yes? Yes. What you sometimes think you should do is what you should do. That's at the very core of the Osborne philosophy. Kiss my cheeks, Dr. Freud. I'm on fire. Worst life coach ever. Don't ever listen to jazz, folks. You'll end up in the, uh, smack in the middle of the realm of Muppetry. That's not my fault. I was definitely on fire. So Neil broke up with Alice. She's in tears in Crofton Park, apparently. Because you told him to leave her. It was his idea. I just encouraged him to believe in himself. You've got nothing. No weed at all. I'm not muffing the fucking drugs meal, mate. Why do you think I invited you? For my off-key remarks and crazy insights. Cheers, man. Oh, shit. Can we grab five? Because my head's in fucking pieces. You want to book in a session next week? Or... I'm really starting to regret leaving Alice. Uh-huh. I really think it was a... Terrible idea. Sorry, dude, but you're kind of harshing my mellow. She says she won't have me back. Yeah, I feel for you, but I'm off the clock. What should I do? Park it, Neil. Save it till, I don't know, Wednesday. OK, OK, everyone. Hat Damn. Game. Hats full of band names. Paintballing reads, and the hat game. No Terrific. Band. So, teams are Jeremy and Superhands, Mark and Neil, me and Mrs Dob Dobbelina. Sorry, hon. Obviously, and no doubt the prize slash forfeit for the losing slash winning team is languorous copulation. OK, time starts now. OK, you probably love them in fair dues. Elbow. Correct? Ugh, elbow. Elbow, elbow, elbow. Should I get an elbow CD? Probably. And the killing and Mad Men and an iPad and everything. God, why won't everyone leave me alone? Hipsters, flavour of the month, still going strong. Boards of Canada. Word. Oh. Christ. Poor man's talking heads. Uh -uh, no proper names. Over and out. Oh. Right, Jess and Hands, go. Uh, widely acknowledged to have nicked our sound. The Chemical Brothers. Correct. Uh, bullshit is turning wank into cash. Flaming lips. Correct. Oh, arsehole. LCD sound system. Fakers. Pavement. Yep. Uh, oh, we thought we had a number and you got a bit overexcited, but uh, it turned out to be a not very funny joke. Lily Allen. Correct. <laughs> Phonies. Foo Fighters. Uh, oh, demanded the Ramsgate blowjob. Mumford and Sons. Mm. That's your lot. Uh, destroyed. They destroyed. Of course, they, they would never be like that. So good at this, but I bet not one person here is going to give me a blowjob. Okay, Mark, Neil, you are up. And so the <laughs> super hands will. Begins. He's done it before. Hope they're all Snow Patrol. If it's not Snow Patrol or the Beatles, I am so fucked. All right, uh, fading fortunes, but Snow Patrol new release expected about in the Beatles. <laughs> <laughs> Four releases, big with. The men who might be what you find as relief in the desert. Oasis. I, I, I've got one. Oasis. Good. Big with them. What? Big with them? Big with Oasis. 
Right, who are Oasis's favourite bands? Mm. This is completely impossible. H have I said Snow Patrol? I, I have, haven't I? Um, not, not the Rolling Stones, obviously. Um. Uh, OK, moving on. Uh, Kasabian. Ah, Kasabian. Of course, Kasabian. Kasabian, Kasabian, Kasabian. OK, um, Hipsters with Attitude, uh, Electro Sound. It's not Snow Patrol, is it? No. Madonna. <laughs> Group. Five piece, I think. OK, so uh, not the Beatles, because uh, famously they, they were a four piece. A bit of trivia. Uh, Susan Doyle. Boyle. <laughs> I got this strange feeling that Mark is going to flip out and lose his mind. And just rage at everybody. What? <laughs> Sorry, my mind's just drowning in bands. All the bands. Uh, nice videos. Very cool. Meatloaf. Kate Bush. Bald guy in the video. Hot chocolate. Are they a band? <laughs> of course they're a band. Oh, okay. Um, clue. Uh, they're warm. Very warm. Uh, nation's favourite food. Hot potato. P boiling potato. Hot pie. Hot, hot pies. Hot potato. Hot potato. Stop saying hot potato. To pow. <laughs> Come on, you must know, it's so easy. Call Electro, improvise live. I, I, I don't know, OK? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, so fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for it, yeah. Oh. If I know Mark, and at this point I think I kind of do, uh, it, was, it was coming. That train's never late with Mark, man. Time's up. Hot chip? Ah, uh, yeah. I, <laughs> I thought it might be hot chips. Round one to you, Simon. Next time we do a quiz, it'll be on Napoleon. And while you might scrape through a few Waterloo questions, when I pin you down on the Emperor's domestic reforms, I will fuck you very hard in the mouth. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, he loves... He loves war history. Uh, I mean, I, lo I love all history. But uh, it seems like Mark just focuses on the war history. And, well, actually, no. He was, his last book was The uh, Business Dealings of the Pharaohs. I think that's what it was called. So, maybe, yeah, he's into economic history, too, I guess. When I woke up, Dobby was already having a coffee and a joint with Simon. They found some dope. My dope. I drove to Brighton at 7.30 to buy some half an ounce of hash for a blim of approval. God, I hate myself. You shouldn't hate yourself, man. Stop life coaching him, Jeremy. I'm not. Hey, guys. At last, military strategy. You're on my turf, music geeks. Oh, shit, Brighton? are they playing paintball no. or airsoft? Looks like paintball because it's got the big thing on the top. That shit hurts. I've never played airsoft before, but there was like at one point where, uh, like last year, where I became like addicted to, uh, I forget what the guy's channel's name was. He's got like one or two million subscribers, so a lot, a lot more than me. Um, but he put on these like airsoft videos, and this guy was like destroying everybody. But he had cameras like. He had a camera on him, like, on his helmet. He had a camera on the gun, so you could see, like, far away. Like, if he was shooting, if he hit somebody far away, you could see if it hit him. And it was, like, it was fucking cool. Like, I'd never really been to Airsoft before, but I, once I stumbled across his channel, um, I was, like, binge-watching his videos for, like, a couple months. And they were so addicting. I wish I remembered his channel's name, though. I'd probably still subscribe, but YouTube has a habit of you know, pushing subscriptions back uh, away from your recommendations. So I'll have to look in there. But uh, speaking of that, make sure you're subscribed and you got the notification bell clicked. That way you don't miss out stuff on the channel if you like this channel. Um, but that's always happening. But it's got to be paintball because it's got the big thing on the top. And paintball's fucking hurt, man. I've never been shot with an airsoft, though. I've... Actually, here's a good question for you guys, for those of you who have done it. What hurts worse, paintballs or airsoft pellets, bullets, pellets? I guess they're called pellets. Uh, paintballs or pellets? Which one hurts more? That's my question. I'd like to know that, uh, what you guys think about that. I've left 36 messages for Alice. Great. Well, that's clearly all part of your particular process, so well done. That's all normal and good. Possibly. We sorted out the teams, your reds. Ten minutes to scatter, then let the death hunt commence. 
death hunt. Mm, the death hunt. That sounds relaxing and fun. Sorry, Mark. I'm yellow. Look out for the grenades. Grenades? Can we have some grenades? This is private stash. We want one of those. I'm, I'm happy to pay. Pay? Who are you going to pay? I don't know. The men? There aren't any men here, dude. It's just us. No men? N not even a man? We're going off-road. There's no rules. Just take out every member of the opposite team to win. And by that she means me. <laughs> Dude, I'm scared of her. But this guy, uh, Simon, I think his name is. The, the, not to go back again on the uh, on the airsoft videos that I saw. I wish I remember this guy's uh, channel's name. But uh, they every once in a while in those videos you'd run into some really toxic... He would run into some really toxic people who take this shit so seriously. And I feel like Simon's one of those guys. Tom! Yes! Yes! Dobbs, this isn't fair. L look at us. Yellow team, move out! Holding yep. hands? That's not military. I'm pretty sure Rommel never held hands. Why does there have to be a death hunt, Mark? Why does war even exist? Why can't we all just have a game of footy, like how England beat Germany for the First World War? I don't know how to answer that, Jeremy. Ah, oh, this is a paintballing nightmare. Must escape, must not die. Enjoy the relaxing game. Keep girlfriend from exit. Don't have a helmet. We're coming to paint you, shitheads! Ah, oh, yes, a ditch. I should burrow further and further into the earth like the worm that I am. Mark, it's me. Hands? I think I've just spotted some kind of bunker. Brilliant. I wonder if Simon found a bunker. I wonder if he's in there with Dobby. Oh, God. Probably. War makes people horny. The owls. <laughs> <laughs> he said that so casual. I mean... Oh, forget it. I'm not even going to say it. The uh, was hardcore. Stalin and Roosevelt sandwich. Churchill sat on the side, wanking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, play the... Hold on. Gals was hardcore. Simon found a bunker. I wonder if he's in there with Dobby. Oh, God. Probably. War makes people horny. Yalta. Gals was hardcore. Stalin and Roosevelt sandwich. Churchill sat on the side, wanking. Yeah. <laughs> what an image! <laughs> what a fucking image! All right, go on. With you. We're not hiding. We're in a holding pattern. Hmm. The lifeboat is getting overcrowded. Hi. Hi. Yes, it's more the merrier in the lifeboat. You can't have too many people in a lifeboat. That's what they never, ever, ever fucking say. Oh. Is this allowed? Just run away from the war? The action of the sane man through the ages. They were forming a kill squad because of Alice. Kill squad. That's not a nice squad. Don't sweat it. Alice is a doom monger. Long term, Neil's going to be very happy he chucked her. That was my hunch, because, you know, well, I'm bound by strict confidentiality, but I think it's OK to tell you because you know him a bit. Neil likes to get handcuffed and then pulled off with gloves on. Does he? Yeah. This is all confidential, and I wouldn't be telling you unless it was interesting. That would be unprofessional. But she wouldn't wear the gloves even at Christmas. Bloody hell. Can Look at Dob, she loves it. You keep it a secret? I don't know. He sucked a guy off at college and thinks he might want to do it again. Wow, OK. And what about the football coaching thing? Yeah. What was the football coaching thing? There was something about his job. He really liked his job or something. I really think I've said enough, to be honest. Hey, Gaylord, you're going to bum the lesbo? What's that? Lesbo. Yeah? Eat this, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> so intense! <laughs> Yo, fuck it, I love Dobbs. To be honest. Hey, Gaylord, you gonna bum the lesbo? What's that? Lesbo. Yeah? Eat this, motherfucker. <laughs> Fuck's sake! And if I was gay, why would I want to bum her? That doesn't even make sense. <laughs> Taste my logic, gun bitch man. God, this is so frightening and boring. Just like a real war, cowering in a foxhole for months. I could have got this sensation of anxiety and fear at home by drinking three cafetiers of coffee and then lying under my bed and calling my dad after 10 p.m. They went this way, scour the area. Guys, look, they're on to you. There's, there are too many of us here. What about this? Matches. 
two longies, two shorties. Pick. OK. Short, you're going, sorry. Shit. Mate. Long, Mark. Oh, one short, one long. Yeah. Short, congratulations. But, yeah, first short goes, first long goes. And the last one is long, so I'm good. Bad luck, guys. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, of course it's right, isn't it, Mark? Mm, bit horrible, but... Uh, that's right. Sorry. Hey, we don't make the rules. Well, you did make the rules. I think you might be OK. You won't be OK. Yeah? Listen up, Hall of Notes. You're going for a little walk, and you may be some time. Fuck, it worked. Maybe I should use the matches to get Jeremy to move out. Long, he leaves. Short, he leaves. Jesus. You're painting those poor bastards like the fourth bridge. Ah, all right, bunker clear. Moving up. Thank God. Oh, my God. Superhands did that so calm. That's I fucking love him. They're lucky they didn't get hit by the snitch. The snitch? Golden snitch. Apparently the yellows like to mix it up a bit. Chuck a ball bearing in the paintball part to make things interesting. A ball bearing? But that would... That'd kill you. No. No. I mean, it'd go in you. It'd... Go in you. Yeah, go in you a bit, wouldn't it? From one of those guns. A fucking ball bearing. Oh, God. Yeah. Splat an eyeball. Take out your windpipe. Take a nut off like that. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. Then you get hit in a sensitive area. But I'm covered in sensitive areas. I can't see a single part of me that I would nominate to be smashed with a high velocity ball bearing. And I'm really sorry, but I think I need to do a poo. You're not pooing in the bunker, Mark. You had a wee? Yeah, a little bit of wee compared to a great big poo. You're not pooing in this bunker. If you poo in the bunker, I will shoot you. Could keep it in, but then <laughs> what if I get into a combat situation and my valves go floppy? Oh, for God's sake. The charge of the shit brigade. Ugh, force ten poo from Navarone. I thought humanity had evolved beyond this. This is a really fun weekend. This is stirring up to be a hilarious moment. I can just feel it. Could it be any worse? Maybe. If Dobby and Simon came round the corner humping and then the shot me with the my the fucking Napoleon book with a fuck off! <laughs> fuck right off! Dude, just let- just give it up for a day! My god! <laughs> Down. Started this war as Napoleon, but I'm reduced to wiping my bum with his biography. Although I am able to pick a section I've already read. Plus, it's not like Napoleon is wiping his bum with pages of my biography, so I am, to an extent, maybe winning? <sighs> Simon wants to know if I'll join him in his bunker for a party. Yeah, Hitler put the bad vibe on the bunker party, like he did with so much else. I really shouldn't be talking to you about this, should I? It's cool. I'm a professional life coach, remember. Everything you say will be strictly confidential. What's Mark like to live with? Well, I hate living with him, but I never want it to end. Why is that? Is it like the Stockholm Syndrome, where you want to go and live in Stockholm with a dick or something? That is quite a long wait. Is he a secret pedo or something? No, obviously, no. She's asking for it. She's begging for a life coaching. How are you feeling about moving in with him? Well. You know, Mark, he's brilliant. Sour and funny and cynical and anxious and screwed up. Keep going. But sometimes I wonder, is he enough fun? Right, yeah. Fun means good at sex. Everyone knows that. Basic <laughs> life coaching. <laughs> no, Mark is a fucking maniac. And Dobbs, Dobbs should already know that. Dobbs is like one of the, if not the smartest character on the show. So... She should know that by now. Oh, drugs? You'll probably start hallucinating I'm a yellow or a sexy female hostage. You've got an Ewok, mate. Full on fucking furball. I've got hairy ears poking at me, noggin. Maybe not too much more speed. They think I'm a drugged up scumbag. They're all the same. The yellows. The Empire. We're 22 carat Ewok. Right. You should get one of them in here. Take a knife to him. You don't mean a real knife, you mean a paint knife. That's a paintbrush, Mark. I'm just talking Swiss Army. Cut one up. What do you say to that? I say, let's definitely not do that. Forget the knife. Right. Just get one of them down on the floor, yeah? Strip him. Paint his arsehole from point blank range. What do you say? I'd say you've moved from attempted murder to violent sexual assault, <laughs> which is probably technically moving in the, quote, 
right direction. How about we just what? surrender? Make my boxers into a makeshift white flag. March into their bunker with my boxers on a stick and say, what the hell's going on here? <laughs> Still live in the boxer short dream, Mark. Eh? You need to get some ball support before your nuts start dragging like iron eggs in a pair of Grace and Perry's tights. <laughs> I gotta start. I gotta start writing down Superhands quotes. The first one being, "Crack." Mm, locked in with a mad commanding officer. Only problem is, if I shoot him, he won't actually die. Do you think Simon is really getting it on with Dobbs in the bunker, or, or is it just me being paranoid? No, mate. Of course you're not. Yellows, fucking yellow bellies, yellow fever, bone in your bird. Classic yellow. Probably not the most reliable spirit level to test my paranoia against. Seriously, I've had it up to here with yellow shit. If you want to belt up and bust out, Mark, I am in. Well then, as Napoleon once said... Hmm, what's a goodie? Laws which are consistent in theory often prove chaotic in practice. Fuck yeah! Oh, God, he's gonna kill someone with paint. I might have inspired a paint war crime. <laughs> I think the truth is, basically, I've been bored ever since 9-11. Yeah? I mean, I was watching the news with Mark the other day, and he was, like, all up in my grill about the Euro. And I was like, ooh, the Italians might leave the Euro. Big wow. It's not exactly planes smashing into buildings, is it? Yeah, that was good news. Not good news, obviously, but good news. It was amazing news. <laughs> it was amazing news. OK. When you, when you talk about this subject, particularly when it comes to the United States, people get very, very sensitive. And, you know, in a lot of ways, rightfully so. But you can still make jokes about it. And, like, it, that was fucking funny to me. Like, everything after that was just so fucking boring. <laughs> that was good. That was good. But I, I guarantee you, like, maybe half... Of all Americans, if they were presented with that joke, they wouldn't like it. Something like that. I'm just guessing, but I I, I know people in my life that if they heard that, they would get really upset. You know, in terms of events and consequences, it was just huge news. Maybe I've been bored since 9-11. They set their standards too high with 9-11. The news. They can't top it. <laughs> exactly. I love you. They can't top it. Oh my god. It's like that George Carlin joke where he's like he's like when you see something awful happen on television you're like, "Oh my god, isn't that like outwardly you're like, "Oh my god, isn't that terrible? That's that's awful." And inwardly you're like, "This is this is so exciting." Kind of thing. You know. Of course I can't redo the joke cuz it's George Carlin, who I think is the best comedian of all time in my opinion. But uh, if you guys haven't checked out George Carlin, um, a late great American comedian. I highly recommend him. Just so hilarious. He's people ask me like, "Hey, do you have any com uh, American comedians you would recommend?" Uh, it's always George Carlin. He passed away about fifteen years ago, but his stuff lives on, and people react to his stuff all the time. Um, it, it's brilliant. Uh oh, might have to pause. Hey, fuck! Where did later. that come from? Simon again. Last year, he was all, it's just not working. Now I'm with Mark, he's all, ooh, I forgot what nice calves you have. Let me put my dobbin in your noggin. Right. Get your dobbin out of her noggin. There's a queue here. Mark, me, dead Gerard, then you at the very back of the queue. Jez, are you OK? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just thinking about how weird it is that uh, things and also people uh, can sometimes be different uh oh gotta pause be right back
Okay. Okay, you doing all right, buddy? You gonna let me finish Peep Show, huh? Peep to peep. You like Peep Show when you get older. By the way, folks, I do not recommend this. Holding your child while you're watching Peep Show. They might uh, pick up on a bad word or two. Oops. Yeah, I'd love to agree, but you're spouting gibberish. Come on, let's rejoin the troops before we get caught martial. Oh, come on. This is bad. I've done a lot of bad shit, but falling in love with her is the worst, or at least the most recent bad thing I've ever done. The yellow bastard's gonna be in there right now doing your missus. We need to get in there. <laughs> okay. Uh-oh. Okay, let's think this through. How about we outflank and try a Napoleonic maneuver de derriere, eh? I'm gonna give him an art lesson. I'm gonna Jackson Pollock these motherfuckers. Yeah, or... Super! Right, into the bunker to save Eva Braun and cop block the Fuhrer. <laughs> Where's Dobby? I, I thought Dobby was in here. Been trying to get her to come here to talk some sense into Neil. No humping. Brilliant. So, oh just gotta God. get her to stay faithful for another 40 years when we have very little basic compatibility. That was yes, unclimactic. Screw Simon. I'll just move in with Mark and give it a go. Great. Anti if it doesn't work out, just move in with me. <laughs> Uh, it's just joking, it's just a stupid joke about something that wouldn't happen. That would never work, Jeremy. With I was about to say, like, they were talking so much, I was like, I wonder if Jez is going to make a move on Dubs. Too similar. I know. We'd never get out of bed. Because we'd be doing it and doing it and doing it and then have a doobie and then do it and watch TV and then maybe we'd have dinner and just fuck the world and that would be our whole thing. <laughs> Easy, Romeo. Lay off the doing it. Ah! Ah, I've got the snitch! Ah! We're taking the fucking snitch up the jacksie! Uh, this is bullshit, Mark. I want revenge. Dobbs! You're okay! Yeah, of course I am. It was her. It was her. The last yellow with the golden snitch. It wasn't me. We're out of the game. Yeah. This game ain't got no off-ramp, sister. No hands! Too close! Bullshit! No! Oh, yes. Ooh, right in the balls! Right in the, the balls. bloody hell! Hang on. Are you a secret yellow? Are you a double agent? Yeah, I'm a double agent. I'm James Bond, and I'm going to get some ointment rubbed on my swollen scrotum. <laughs> you ruined my life! I'm about to be hit. <clears throat> oh! oh! Sorry! This is Vietnam. He Drugs, said sorry. in military order. Hey! All we need now are the doors. The doors! Now I remember another ban. Oh, man. That was brilliant. I really liked that episode. I like that it was set in a paintball match. Ah, yeah. Hey, peep to peep, peep to peep. Yeah, don't worry, we're gonna eat soon. Uh, <clears throat> and I think he did something in her diaper. But um, Super Hands, uh, Super Hands was featured a lot, which I really like. I was really worried about Jazz making a move on Dobbs, and it sounded like she, m even though she said she's not open to it, it sounded, it sounded like she might be. And it wouldn't be the first time that Jazz took Mark's woman for a night it's happened more than once so i'm really worried about this because dobbs i think dobbs is like she's probably the coolest character on the show actually i i fucked up johnson is the coolest character on the show even though he's such a douchebag i love johnson you guys know that but in terms of like the coolest character as like who you would want to be your friend the most on the show it's definitely dobbs in my opinion <clears throat> um, I'm glad Mark actually got out to do something, even though it was kind of a mess. I know, I know. You want to get a diaper change and get a bottle of milk, right? Yeah. So, good stuff. Can't wait to see what the rest of the season holds. Uh, the next one's called Big Mad Andy. I don't know what that means. But, uh, hope you guys enjoyed the reaction. Like, subscribe, do whatever you guys want. I gotta go, because I gotta take care of Princess Boomer. So, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing her. Yeah. We're doing reaction videos on YouTube and Patreon. What do you think of that? She's like, I don't care. Get me out of here. So, peace out, Boomerites. I'll see you next time. <laughs>